Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann, and um, this is a video in which I show what's actually inside my bag. I have been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube about what women put or carry inside their bags, and I've always found them fascinating to watch, and um, I haven't done anything like that before. So I wanted to try out doing it. Not that the things in my bag are, 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 are something to crow about, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But I just wanted to um, share this with, um, with you because um, I don't know what it is about what's in my bag videos. I mean, I don't even use the same products and the same items that, that you use. But I, f I still find them fascinating to watch. And um, so here is my own little contribution to that. <laughs> I hope you can find this video um, as fascinating as I find yours. So this is the bag that I'm using. It's actually a bucket bag. It's not made of real leather um, because I wasn't really sure if I could work with a bucket bag. This is my very first bucket bag and I've always been a, a more of a traditional tote kind of girl. When I was in high school, I wore a, uh, I carried a tote. When I was in college, I carried a tote. There was one short period in time when I carried a backpack for a couple of years during my first couple of years in university as a graduate student. But that was because I was, I don't know, I first probably experimented with a backpack, but I remember going back to the traditional tote anyway. So, um, but I saw this bag in a store and I really, really liked it. And I, I thought I would give it a try because this bucket bag has a, a bottom that is almost like a circle. Um, let me just get closer to the camera. I, I mean, closer to the bag so I can show you the bottom of the camera. I hope the camera doesn't wobble too much. Uh, let me just tilt this down. There. Not, I, not, not an exact almost circle, but as you can see, um, the the bottom of the bag is uh, it's it has a larger dimension it is about like i don't know maybe this is about eight inches and my problem with bucket bags before with the ones i used to see around is that they were only like about six inches or five inches and you couldn't really put much things in there and you will see later that I put a lot of things in my bag so I kind of like this dimension of the bottom so I picked the bag up and I bought it in this color and I really like it it also comes with a shoulder strap by the way but I'm not really much of a shoulder bag kind of person I tried it for like a couple of hours but I had to take it out I wasn't it wasn't really working for me but this one goes over the shoulder so that's okay it still works it, it still carry it around like a tote and what I like about bucket bags is that they close because of the closure it becomes more compact if you need to access your stuff you can just it just opens up like you will see later but when it closes the 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 the, cl the opening of the bag actually becomes very very small not like with tote bags that close with a zipper if you zip it closed the opening is still you know the, the full length of the bag but with bucket bags i like that the opening becomes very very small when you when you pull the drawstring closed okay so i'm gonna be flipping the the i'm gonna be changing locations so i can put the the camera up on the tripod so you can see what i have put inside my bag okay okay we are now at the top view of the bag <coughs> excuse me um as you can see the opening of the bag when it is 
close to the drawstring. It's very, very small. And when I'm holding the bag over my shoulder, my torso is over here and my arm is hanging over here, which sort of helps protect the opening of the bag even more because um, in my country, uh, thieves and pickpockets are a very real problem. So let's open the bag now and I can show you what I put in it. So it opens with a drawstring and right upon opening, you can see that I have some stuff um, clipped onto the part of the drawstring that goes inside the bag. Here are my keys. <clears throat> Let's take them out. These are my house keys, my keys to my drawers in the office, and I have here a flashlight and a whistle. This is an Acme City whistle, the same one that Scotland Yard uses. You can hear this whistle from a mile away. So those are my keys. And then I have here another flashlight. This is clipped on here and I don't take it out because when I'm fishing for something in my bag, it's very useful to have a flashlight handy. So that stays in there. And I also have here a hand sanitizer. And over here I have a, a actually three pockets two zippered pocket that's one that's two and then another pocket here over here I have a coin purse and then my uh, that the, this is what I use to clean my eyeglasses and then over here in this first zippered pocket there is my uh, oil blotters and then I have a lip balm and then this is an atomizer perfume. I, I transfer my perfume here so I can always have this because sometimes I run out of the house forgetting to put on perfume. So that's handy. And then in the second zippered compartment here, I have my uh, ID badges for work. And then I have my um, business card case. And I also have a calculator because when I'm computing stuff, doing math, I don't want to have to use my phone for that as much as possible. I don't like taking my phone out of my pocket, which is also why I have a Pebble watch. And that's it for the contents of the pockets. Over here, there are two pockets, but I don't really put anything on there because that's the part where my... Um, my side would go and I don't like anything jutting out from the bag poking me on my side. Over here is a uh, hand lotion and this is my tech bag. Uh, in here I have charger cables, a second cell phone, uh, that's pretty much it. So that whenever I need something tech related I just pull out this bag and then when I'm done I put everything in this bag and then put the bag on. I don't like things, loose things floating around inside my bag because it's kind of deep and even though I have a flashlight, it can get difficult to fish around for things in here if they're not in small bags that are uh, categorized. And over here I have another bag. These are for feminine products and um, you know tissues and wipes, things of that nature. And then I have here my wallet. It's a compact penny bridge. In this, I keep just the usual cards that I use for shopping. I don't use credit cards and I have just one, just two debit cards and one is the only one that I actually use. And the other one is linked to my PayPal. And then I have the paper bills. And then I have, you've seen this before. I've done a video about this before. This is my pen case. These are what I use to mark my hyperdex on my planners and these are the deadline tabs that I have also talked about and I have here an eraser pen, a mechanical pencil, a silver gel pen, scissors, ruler, glue and then I have here a white gel pen and then all the rest are colored highlighters and markers for my hyperdex. And then we have my planner. This is a Franklin Covey compact size. It's real leather, full grain leather, and it has rings that are 1.5 inches in diameter. And these are the pages that I'm on. I've already prepared the pages for January, although it's only the first week of December. Um, I have a video about my planner inserts. I'll 
also and what else is in my bag this is a mobile power bank and the only reason why it's on the oops sorry the only reason why it's on the floor of my bag is because let me just fix my ring ah this is starting to get messy the only reason why i have this uh hold on what do i do to fix this hmm I'm so sorry. I'm trying to keep this permanent. The only reason why I have this on the floor of my bag and not inside my tech bag is because it doesn't fit anymore. And until I get um, until I get a bigger tech bag, this is going to have to stay on the floor of my bag because I don't really use this very much. I, I actually don't use it very much, so I don't need to fish this out of my bag all the time. And um, the last item in my bag is a folding umbrella. It's Fimbrella, and I really like the color. It's a dark green with a tangerine um, inside. And um, But the actual umbrella is just dark green. And then it has a crystal handle. And it, it lies down at the bottom of my bag because it... It rains every once in a while, but these days it doesn't. Uh, although it rained uh, about a couple of days ago, I don't, I don't remember. But there, that's it. That's all that's in my bag. And as you can see, I've created a mess here. And <laughs> I hope um, you were able to find this video interesting and this is my first what's in my bag video I, I don't have a lot of bags as I said before I really just am a, a traditional tote kind of girl but so far this is working for me and I like it because because of the compact um, dimension even though it's very roomy it folds very compact so that there are no pieces of bag corners jutting out from my body when I'm walking so I don't hit other people with my bag when it's very very full so this is what I like about it and um, I'm gonna be using this for until maybe next year if I can and if it doesn't break down because it's not real leather so I'm not sure how it would hold up to heavy use so let's see how long this bag lasts and let's see if i'm able to make it work for months and i'm gonna maybe i'll let you know how i do so well for now that's it so thank you so much for watching until next time bye